So, almost three years ago now, I decided to return to Game Jolt to continue making fan games. The first game I made upon my return was a game called Finds at Chuck E. Cheese's um, Bankruptcy. The main reason I got the idea for the game, which is kind of because at the time, Chuck E. Cheese's was closing a lot of locations because of, uh, you know. And I thought, hey, that's good for that fan game material. So, I made a FNAF fan game using FNAF Maker Rewrite. By the way, it's kind of shit. I haven't really made any challenge games this year. A challenge game, which is basically just what I call a game that I make under a time limit. I believe the first one was the Finds of D's games. Um, then, uh, I think maybe it was Cheese Bunny after that. You know, then Jonathan's. And then the facility. Okay, I'm pretty sure the Wicked Yellow Bears and the Danger of Blue Bear also fall under this category. I decided to give myself two hours to remake um, Bankruptcy. Uh, this is all going to be sped up times four. And I'm going to provide some uh, commentary in between. Uh, this will be pretty much shot the exact same way that I stopped the Wivering Madness devlogs. So, uh, yeah. Alright, let's, uh, let's get into it. To start off, I decided to actually make the character for Chuck. I just call him Chuck. Got a problem with that. Anyway, so I decided to just simply just make the um, top half of his body, not the lower half, to save time. Because again, I only have two hours here. I do edit this image a tiny bit later uh, on for the cameras, but you know, this is, I still make my characters in solely Microsoft Paint. So, uh,. Next up, it was time to make all the rooms and, uh, you know, all that, all that jazz. So, I first actually decided to actually fix the map, because, well, you know, it, it's terrible, it's ugly, kinda like me. So, yeah, I decided to actually fix it. 
I decided to actually, you know, make it obvious that something was blocked. Not something to look so hastily drawn. And uh, then I made. Then I started actually making the rooms. At this point, I should probably also add that there were a few times in this challenge where I did have to pause the timer. Now, one of them was dinner time with my grandmother, who has a broken leg, and I do value spending time with her. Um, the other, there were two more times, and well, in those other two times, I basically just had to take this fat fuck out for a walk. He's very cute, but he's a bit fat. A lot of these cameras were heavily simplified, I usually do a bit more detailed. Uh, I'll give you this example in here from my upcoming game, 2030 Revelation, because, well, you know, I think it looks cool. It's a, as you can see, that one's a lot more detailed. However, as you can probably tell, this one's not very detailed. The reason for this is because, again, I was on a time limit of two hours. So as a result, the cameras were not that detailed. They were not as detailed as they could have been. So, that explains that. So the main reason I'm actually editing the image a bit here is because in the original game, Chuck is actually just a shadow with two eyes visible and his endoskeleton also being visible for a lot of his body. However, I didn't like I don't like that actually, so I decided to actually to give him an actual design and then in paint on it, I just make it really dark. Like as if it's a shadow and it can barely be seen. That was the general idea behind this design.
The main goal I had with designing each of these rooms was to make them look like the original images, but make them not look stolen, if that makes sense. Essentially, for, they basically were just images I took from Google because I did that, unfortunately. But, uh, ooh. Yeah, no, that, that, that is dumb. You should never do that. If you steal images for your game, then you suck. Like, did dead ass, you suck. Anyway, again, the main goal is just to make this scene consistent. Just like, make it all look actually consistent and not stolen, while also resembling the original game. This little side note, but halfway through recording, I actually remembered that um, Chuck doesn't actually go in camera three, so I'm not really sure why I included it in the remake. He, he literally never goes in this room, but yeah, I still made graphics for it anyway. Yeah, I don't know why. Anyway, uh, thought I'd just add that in there. I guess you just make them seem more consistent, I guess. I didn't see the point in really making new event cameras since it literally would look exactly the same. So at most I just changed some of the color and that's pretty much it. Really, there's not much you can really do with ventilation shafts. That's why I decided to just reuse this vent image for cameras 4 and 5. I should add about it, Camera 7 was the only camera in the original game that wasn't stolen from Google. It was an image that I directly made on Microsoft Paint myself. Although terribly, I still made it myself, so uh... Yeah. No, 
I, back then, I considered it a special occasion, okay? Yeah. Don't at me. This was when I was making a jump scare for him. I'm gonna be honest, I don't really like animating because I have to do it frame by frame. I know I could just do it like in every way, but uh. Nine! Nine! I'm not doing that. No, th that's stupid. A little side note, I'm not sure why I waited so long to do, like, the menu stuff. It's usually what I do first for a fan game. Since it'll be, like, the first things you see. But, uh, no. Um, this is, like, the last, this is uh, the last few assets I actually made for this game. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure why, but, uh, yeah. I remembered to do that, thankfully, so I did.
now, uh, now is the time where I, uh, I just had to implement uh, all the assets, get all the code sorted. Oh, it was pretty straightforward from here. I didn't make a camera or mask animation to save time, but that's kind of the thing. See, I feel like the, the main advantage this game really has on the original is just better visuals. Otherwise, it's basically the same game, just a different project file. I feel like I should, you know, I think I may do a content update or two for this game. Uh, maybe? I'm not entirely sure, though, is the thing. Just because I have a lot of other things I want to do this year, like Joint Third Revelation, finishing the Anarchy Viper series. You know, it, it's kind of a lot. So, yeah, that could include updating animations, but no guarantees.